Basketball fans, it's one of our favorite days of the year. One of the most overhyped days in sports, no matter what sport you're watching or covering or a fan of, trade deadline. You think someone's going to move? A lot of times, the big names, it's really hard to move, especially in this NBA with the new collective bargaining and salary cap. So welcome into the Hangout. I am Akil Augustine, and now it's time to show the wide shot of today's guest. Way too overdressed for this program, but we give him a blind because he was covering some Olympics, and you got a chance to watch our women win the gold medal. Much, yes. Much love to the ladies, of course, but we got Glenn Schiller here. Thank you for joining us, Glenn. Hey, thanks for having me, and I, yeah, I do apologize for the suit, but I came straight from work. I wanted to go home and change. Sorry, didn't Timing. happen. Okay, <laughs> and uh, we got Dave Zarab, of course, uh, a writer for Sportsnet. We thank you yep. so much for coming and sharing your thoughts with us. Appreciate and it. We got my man, Dan Gladman. He told me he had some heat for me. I got mad respect for the Nerf t-shirt going extra medium on him. And you guys can't see it, but my homeboy, Maddie got a cold Techniques t-shirt on today. The whole crew came live. Now let's get into it. Trade deadline, a lot of rumors, a lot of names being swirled around. Let's start with the biggest piece of action, the biggest piece of meat we get to sink our teeth into. A lot of people talked for a long time. The Indiana Pacers wanted to move Danny Granger. He was the face of the franchise prior to Paul George coming and stealing the lightning and the thunder. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a guy, top tier scorer at a certain point. You didn't think he was a 1A, you thought he was a 1B, 1C. Knee injury, hole in his knee, kind of you know puts him back a few steps. I'll start with you, Glenn. Your thoughts on this deal that now puts Granger out and Evan Turner joins. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I, I think for Evan Turner, it's, it's a good chance for him to go to a winning team, a team that is probably going to go deep in the playoffs. He'll probably come off the bench there, add a nice punch. He's averaging nearly 20 points a game or maybe just under that. Whereas Danny Granger, as you said, the face of Indiana so many years, his ninth season now, nearing the end of it, but maybe a fresh start for him, a chance to kind of take a leadership role uh, on a different one. That was kind of our concern with him in Indiana. We didn't think he could lead that group. Yeah. But, okay, so I'm going to take uh, you, Dan, first. Your thoughts on this deal. Well, my, my first gut instinct and reaction is the rich getting richer. You know, it seems like <laughs> yeah. every time there's a move in the NBA this year, Indiana is the first one on it. But, you know, Evan Turner had been a disappointment his first couple of years in the league. He, he has shown a lot of improvement this year, but he's put up numbers for a bad team. Yes. Yeah. And he is not tested in the playoffs. Um, I, he probably played in the playoffs a couple of years ago, that season that the Sixers were in the playoffs, but he wasn't a factor and he has precious little experience compared to the Pacers and compared to what Granger had. I, I actually think um, it takes a little boost away from the Pacers coming off the bench uh, in moments where they might need it because we don't know if he's going to be able to hit that three ball and you knew Granger was going to. Okay, Dave. Yeah, I think definitely, I mean, their scoring is going to suffer off the bench with Granger going out, Turner coming in. But I think, you know, you see, obviously Turner is a better defender yes. than Danny Granger at this point and probably at any point of, of Granger's career. So I think, you know, that helps in terms of their identity. You know, that's the kind of players that obviously they're going after. Uh, they'd like to build around. Um, you know, I think Turner's still living off the reputation of being the second overall pick, you know? Yeah. Um, and so we're now we're really going to see how, how yeah, good he can be. I think it's his final test. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after, exactly, exactly. After this contract, people are going to decide on what Evan Turner truly is. But let's take a focus now on the Indiana Pacers. Yeah. Anytime the Pacers do a move, we pretty much know it's for the Miami Heat. <laughs> so now looking ahead to a potential matchup with the Miami Heat in the playoffs, does Evan Turner change things enough to make a series with the Heat Pacers go the other way this time around? Well, I mean, let's not forget Andrew Bynum, another yes. guy that might yeah. be coming into this lineup any day now. So not only are you adding Turner, who, as Dave mentioned, is a, a pretty good defender. Not that he's going to shut down LeBron no. James or anything like that, because no one can. But, uh, I mean, you add Bynum into the mix, and if he could just get his head straight for the final month or two of the season, this is a different-looking team, and maybe that's what they need, one, two different looks to... to finally be the team that takes out Miami. Yeah, sometimes it's even like, like you're saying, it's almost like a mental thing. Like mm -hmm. just here, we brought in this other piece. Now we're really ready. You know, they get this feeling that like, you know, their armor's developed, you know, they got this more weapons to Ooh. bust out there. You're gonna need some good armor for that LeBron James kid. <laughs> yeah, like I don't think Evan Turner makes a difference between beating the Heat or not beating the Heat. Yeah. But, you know, it can't hurt. Uh, I'm, no good. I'm with you yeah. there. Uh, Evan Turner is not going to make or break the Pacers' chances against the Heat this year. I think the Pacers already feel like they can go in there and beat the Heat this year. They have way more depth. You know, Louis Scola is going to be a factor in the playoffs. 
And, you know, Miami's teetering. LeBron has already said he's tired. They've played so many games. They've been to the finals three straight yeah. years. There was an Olympic year for Wade and LeBron. I, I think the Pacers are sitting pretty. They want to hang on to home court. They think they could win a game seven against the Heat. And that, that Eastern Finals, if that's what it is, I Indiana and Miami, that, you know, that's a battle royale right there. Okay, mm -hmm. everybody. Now you got to wave bye to Danny Granger, Mass Media. That's probably the last time a lot of people are going to hear about him. <laughs>